Hello again and welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Eliza Bloom Robinson and this is another episode of Voices for a New Humanity. And I am thrilled today to have my friend Doriana Peterson with us. Doriana is, um, <clears throat> when I think of Doriana, I think of youthing, like not aging, but youthing. And when I met Doriana, actually in person, we've actually met in person, we've actually really even hugged, which is really wonderful in this day of uh, the coronavirus and the pandemic, we have to go back a few months. But um, I, I, I was, mm, what's the word I wanna say? Like, so, like she's so young, right? She's just so young, her youthful, appearance, her youthful spirit. And then she told me how old she was. And I don't know that she'll tell you how old she was. I'm like, get out. Like that can't be. But as I've gotten to know Doriana, I know that her whole work in the world, her whole presence in the world is really about not so much anti-aging, but really about new things. So welcome Doriana. And um, as we jump into this conversation, I wanted to just say just a, a bit about what new humanity now is and the voices. So we're having these conversations. It sounds like a monologue right now, but we're having these conversations <laughs> about really what's birthing through this pandemic and what's birthing in this new age and this new dimension of consciousness and this new almost species of humanity. And so we're talking to all kinds of different people in all kinds of different arenas. And um, so Doriana Peterson is our guest today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you're here. Well, thank you, Eliza. I'm real tickled to be here. Uh, it is delightful uh, to be able to share with you and all of your uh, great audience uh, about my perceptions of what you thing is so for the past almost 40 years I've known that we don't really have to age and get decrepit and that we can use natural means to keep our bodies in a very youthful condition and uh, I've and love to share my age, which I just turned 76 in January. Uh, so uh, people are usually really amazed at that. Yes. Uh, but I believe that youthing is the, the new aging, that we can age youthfully, we can be ageless, and we can continue on to be in a very healthy, exuberant state as we go through time, which of course time is becoming irrelevant as well, mm -hmm. uh, as we enter into this new world of the new age of the new humanity. And our youthingness is being created now as we are morphing in our cocoons into a new crystalline light body. So what I am coming into, I've done studying in so many traditions and uh, processes and exercises and episodes and different realities of different perspectives that uh, now I'm bringing forth a lot of the new ways that we have the care and feeding of our light bodies. And so it's about becoming familiar with how our bodies work and how energy comes through our DNA. And it expresses epigenetically because of influences that come from the outside in all the different ways and what we think, what we feel, what we eat, what we see, uh, how we move, all of this is forming 
our newness as we come forth into our new light bodies. And so it so it sounds to me, and I know this to be true, that you bring decades of tools and practices and experiences and and lots of knowledge right uh, you have that background you have the science of it you have the techniques that you have all of that so my question really is as we're as we're being birthed and and this is my belief system as we're really being birthed into the new like like everything that you've already known and done and now what's new like like how is that showing up new and i think you spoke into it because you were talking about the light bodies like like the the lightness in mm -hmm. you. But what's different for you now than say maybe even six months ago? In your so work? some of the main things, uh, I've taken like some breatharian classes and the breatharians teach how you can use prana, you can breathe in prana and you can uh, actually not depend on food and water, you can get to a place where you teach your body that this is the real energy that we've always been using, we've always been breathing, and everything's always been functioning properly, but we can learn how to make that even to a greater extent as being our nutrition. Now, that doesn't mean you stop eating and drinking but it does mean that you can give your body the rest from having to work so hard at processing food and drink and whatever that your body learns to use the prana and another aspect is sunlight and the sun is our greatest benefactor of nutrition i mean it comes in and feeds the plants and the plants grow and all they need is sunlight and a little water and a few minerals and we're the same way we can learn how to be in communion with the sun using that energy as well to create nutrition in our bodies and that just brings us into oh you know there's some other things we can do that really will make our bodies feel the most benefit and the most excitement and exuberance and health uh, from using these things that they're free and they're natural and they've been feeding us all this time we just haven't been aware of the impact that those have I think and one of the things that I'm really noticing is the aware we're, we're, we have a whole new access to awareness. Mm -hmm. Right. And you spoke about, you spoke about epigenetics and I know our friend Sharon is an epigeneticist, if that's how you say that word, but, yeah. but how does that play in? Because, because I know that's my experience in the whole epigenetics and DNA. It's like blowing my mind in the last few years about how we can really use that. Mm -hmm. so, so that's, you know, that's what it is. It's we oh, used to think that our genes were these things that are there and they're giving us our eye color and our hair color and uh, everything else about our basic structure. And then they had this other 90, how many ever percent of junk DNA that they didn't know what that was. But now that we're coming through into these frequencies that are coming through the galactic center and through all the things that we're passing through, that uh, they're stimulating, initiating uh, those other junk DNA things which are actually bringing back our real gifts of telepathy and clairvoyance and all those clairs and the other things. Um, I took a, I did 
two years ago uh, after a, uh, a ceremony kind of retreat I was on, uh, they offered a fire walk and on Saturday night, which was optional. And so I did that and it was just a real natural thing. We didn't do anything extra special, but just being able to build the fire and then walk around. And then uh, when it got to a certain point, somebody walked through and it was like, oh, okay. And then somebody else walked through and then, okay, I'll do it too. And you just walk through and no burning, no nothing. It's like, wow, how can we do that? Our bodies are, we're just meant to do such spectacular things. I just get goosebumps right now. Uh, thinking about how amazing our bodies and our uh, realities and what we can actually perform and do with, with our bodies, how, how that is. And Boy, we could go a whole uh, rabbit hole around that. Mm -hmm. Firewalking, but it is, isn't it? It's just uh, phenomenal what we have access to. Mm -hmm. We have access to through the quantum. I mean, that's where I play a lot, but we have access to in so many, so many layers of the science and the background and what you speak about. I want to ask you about your uh, fountain of youth behind you. What can you tell us about that? And what is that? Oh, it's so wonderful. <laughs> the fountain of youth. <laughs> so you know, that's kind of my idea of how we get together and we dip into the fountain of youth and we embrace ourselves in the healing waters and we become our youthful selves and in conjunction with all of the other beautiful people and nature and animals and everybody now by coming into the moment and being present in the moment it brings us in continuation with the flow of our super conscious that has been leading everything in our lives and so uh, that's kind of what it is so it comes in and goes through and then we can share all of our youthful things and how we have come here to be of service and we can do our service in a much more happy healthy youthful way and, and I, I think one of the magic things that you just said there that's so practical for everybody for all of us is is actually landing in this i call it the eternal now moment like like mm -hmm. it, it's that's where the magic is exactly right? so many of us are back here or we're out here or we're up here or we're down here but from here and then you did this i always do this right from here then we like land what do we land in for in this kind of work? We land in our wholeness. We land in our youthfulness, right? We land in the quantum and we line up. And there is, I'm so glad you said this. I'm going to repeat it in my words. There is such a lightness and such a, a like a magic sparkle. Like it's an innocence, but coming from experience. It's not like ignorance innocence it's innocence of knowing allowing being and lining up with who we're here to be i think yeah we come it comes in through our hearts yeah. and in no sense it's we're open to not having any preconceived notions of letting go of the old inhibitory training and beliefs that we've had up to this point and just letting everything go and just taking in letting the new come through and not putting any 
kind of right or wrong, this or that to it, just letting it come and be and be all we can be. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if, uh, if you want to know more about Doriana, we've got all of her links in the description. If you want to have, if there's anything in you that goes, I want to know what she knows, reach out to her. Look at her, her presence, her brilliance. She's so amazing. And she told us 76 years old, not that 76, we should have an, even an image of what 76 means, right? But let's now go, I have an image of where I want to be at 76, <laughs> now that I know Doriana. <laughs> and I believe we, we can even be that into 100, 150, 200, 300, that in our new bodies that we're coming into our light bodies, they are eternal. That place in our heart where we go is zero point, and that's the place where the quantum comes through and provides whatever it is we're creating. That's brilliant. It's wonderful. It's, you're the embodiment of all of that. So I just thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank and, you. Uh, Doriana Peterson, I'm Eliza Bloom Robinson, and this is a Voices for a New Humanity episode on Youth Thing. We'll see you again real soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.